Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back. I am here to do another split cup pour. I have really been enjoying these. I know I've only done two so far, but I really like them. I like the results I've gotten so far and I've had fun doing them. I will use this four channel split cup and I have a larger canvas today. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I have a larger spin table. I had to um, have my dad help me doctor up this Amazon box to make it a little bit wider. I think it will spin now. Sometimes it scrapes this side and I have to hold this to pull it out a little bit as it spins so it won't scrape, but we'll see. Um, I do have about seven or eight colors selected. I think I have eight colors. One of them's white, but I'll tell you what they are as I go. And this is a gallery canvas, whoops, of a gallery edge canvas. So I will need a lot more paint. And it's 14 by 14 inch. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby whenever, see now we're not in the right spot. I got it from, I'll have to reposition that. I got it from Hobby Lobby because it's their brand and their brand of stuff is half off, usually a couple times a month. So I don't remember how much it was, but anyway, I want to try it out and see what happens. So I'll be back in just a second. You may be wondering what this is. This is just an image that I placed in to do a voiceover. Actually, what these are, are the four card stocks I have dipped so far to try to make greeting cards out of. But I haven't done the greeting card part yet. But anyway, I'm entering this in here to do a quick voiceover to explain what happened to this video. I had a really hard time with this painting. And it took me three or four tries to get something that I liked. And the entire process was a little bit over an hour. And I was trying to cut it down to less than, than 30 minutes for YouTube. But... Somehow I deleted that file. So what I'm going to do is use one of the files where I edited this video down for TikTok. What I do is I edit it, I cut a bunch of stuff out, and then I speed it up, and I save it, and I speed it up again, and I save it, and I speed it up again. And I do that over and over and resave until I get it down to where I can upload it as a one minute version for TikTok. So the next part of this is going to be, I think maybe about 12 minutes and it's all going to be sped up and I have some words on the screen and that's one of the files in my process of editing for TikTok. So I'm going to use that so you can just see all of the process or most of the process. And then at the very end, I have another little clip of me talking and doing my close-up for you. And so this is an unusual version. I will find some royalty-free music by approaching Nirvana and add that in over the part that's muted and sped up. But hopefully my next video will work a lot easier with me or for me. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks.
I started this a second ago, but something shut off on me, so let's start again. I had to turn the overhead light off because of the glare, so this color may not be 100% true to color, but I'll show you what I can with this close-up in just a second. And as I was saying when I got cut off, it's been more than an hour, but I got busy, and I'm going to do this now. And I'm going to do the dry results once a month. So probably the first week of February, I will do the ones from January and the two that I did between October and January. But I will just go in so that I can show you some of the details. I don't know if I can show you the glitter in some of those glitter paints or extreme sheen or anything like that. I didn't get a ton of reactions from the glitter or the extreme sheen or the coconut milk hair serum but I like it better since I walked away and it started drying at least and there's always more to see whenever you go in close and look at 
different parts one at a time. I have no idea why the color of that just changed. I don't know. I have no idea why. Sometimes my flash changes color on me or my screen changes color on me. I don't know. It's very strange. But hopefully when this is dry and I do the dry result video, hopefully I can show you a lot more. This still isn't 100% my favorite piece, but it is what it is because I had to try several different times to get something that was kind of nice. I don't know that I can show you all of the sides. Maybe I can. The color may be a little bit off. Let me turn the overhead light back on now. So, sorry. Here's what it looks like with the overhead light on and the big glare in the center of it. So we'll just go around and show you a little bit again. Sorry, I'm going kind of fast. And let me show you the sides. This is a gallery wrapped canvas. So I do did want the sides covered and I do like the sides. Sorry, there's shadow. I do really like these sides. There's one corner that I'm not super crazy over. I tried to pour extra paint over that from my palette knife to cover that up, but it didn't work. But one out of four is not bad. Whoops, one out of four is not bad. So that is it for this one and show it to you from different angles. Like I said, it's not my favorite, but I do like it better. Sorry. It's not my favorite yet, but I do like it better now after I walked away for a while. So let me know what you think in the comments. And that's all for now. Bye.